I'm Rivis, and today I am sharing with you all my thoughts on Wiccan, as well as the best performing deck with it for me, uh, the first day of his release. Um, overall, the card actually impressed me a lot. Um, in a couple decks, I was able to make a trigger pretty much every time, or like 90% of the time, and uh, get value off of it. Um, in those games, it was felt pretty powerful. Um, and this is without playing uh, cards that I think are bad, like Quicksilver and Domino. I think if you're running Quicksilver, uh, you should take advice from whoever is making that deck. Um, it's just not good. Uh, there's few edge cases I can see Domino um, being okay, because Domino does increase your chance of taking one drops, and not running any other twos is reasonable in a couple decks I can see potentially. Um, that being said, this was the uh, deck that I expected to do the best, and after a few tweaks, uh, this is the 12 card list I liked and played a lot of, uh, yeah, overall I played like s around 6 hours of this card, um, and played like 5 different decks, um, and then this one was the one I was tweaking the most. Um, it's your standard kind of Loki stuff, uh, we're running 4 1 drops, which means we have like an 85% approximately chance to have a one drop on one and then very very high chance to be able to curve into a two uh, especially since Maria Hill gives us another two um, alternatively we can play two one drops right? um, and yeah and then after that like similar you can do one drop and a, and a two or uh, or your Loki and your Adrian Colson uh, and being able to curve out into Loki, into Wiccan, is basically makes you feel like almost like a delayed Arishim. Um, especially if you have Quinjet and stuff, you can e manage even more. Uh, similarly, you can uh, have similar lines with Agent Coulson. Um, being able to like, go Agent Coulson, Wiccan, and being able to cheat out these big cards on the final uh, two turns. Um, so you don't have to do any kind of cheesy stuff with like Psylocke, Zabu. Uh, Wiccan, which is also something I tried and was not good. Um, and yeah, it just feels like very powerful. It, it, it kind of gives you an Arishim feeling, but a little bit more consistent. Um, being Having the extra energy for your arrows, for your uh, Loki cards, for your Agent Coulson makes it a lot easier to trigger Mockingbirds. I think Mockingbird is really crucial. I saw a few Loki lists going around without Mockingbird. Um, and I just, I, I tried it and I didn't like that I didn't have like any power in games where like I whiffed on Agent Coulson right and got the cards that weren't very good uh, and so yeah I do I do think that she's pretty critical in giving you that little extra boost uh, especially because Wiccan is also just a solid amount of power and then uh, we're running Shadow King and Shang Protect I think Shang is a little bit more important but Shadow King is very very good in this meta right now as well uh, and this lets us deal with our opponent getting too far ahead early. Uh, that being said, you could probably put other tech cards in here, uh, depending on what you're seeing on the ladder. You could see an Enchantress uh, in here as well. You're seeing a lot of Patriot for some reason. Um, yeah, I would say the only thing you have to worry about with this deck playing it um, is just keeping in mind of your hand space, trying to make sure you don't deny yourself draws unnecessarily. Um, and then board space, which Kate does help for Acid Arrow. Um, so yeah, definitely try not to uh, clog yourself too much or in your hand or on your board. Uh, and if you do that, it should be pretty fine. Like it's a pretty uh, straightforward deck. You just want to try and make sure you use up player energy until you weaken, and then try and overwhelm your opponent with uh, power and tech cards. Um, using the mana sheet from Loki, Quinja, and uh, Wiccan to take advantage of it. And yeah, so this card uh, honestly seems very reasonable. If you want to play like this style of deck, right, the card generation deck, I, I do think that he'll be very important because this is like the deck for playing stuff out early and getting cards to play later, which is something that Wiccan needs uh, to function, right? Like you need early cards and late game value. And it's really difficult, like he's a challenging deck building puzzle in other decks because of the fact that you need to have all this early game, right? You need essentially four one drops um, and you need to have late game to take advantage of synergy. Um, and this basically 
is just an early game deck that gives you late game so like it's a pretty uh, easy fit and yeah that's the list I ended up on I'll let you take a look at the games for yourself see how see how it is let me know if you got Wiccan while trying to open for Loki and Pixie uh, and yeah I'll catch you all in the next one peace I can go Legion on Lumeria next turn, which is really strong. And so I can't bounce stuff back. I do want this to be revealed. I guess this one cannot be. I might just play two mother. I just these two. Also hides Black Swan if they're trying to Black Swan. I think we're gold better. Depends on the card, but I think gold right now is my go-to. There's ways they could win. It's tough though. I assume one of those is Black Swan. I don't know what this was. Carry. I don't know why they played the hood. Victory. I used to the monkey. Look, if you're gonna play hood, you would play it middle to ring blizzard. That was a banana for sure. Where you hang out. Should play this, that's why I got a two drop. Much as I want the demon. Tunnel's arc is interesting. Um, it's 50 50. Missed it. No, don't kill the fog wells, Jim. Sadness. They're running Cassandra in their bounce deck. Oh snap. Of the time. There's like a hard one here.
They realize it floods the other locations, right? Okay. <laughs> I guess they just thought I couldn't beat. Even without Shadow King, they only had 11 power and I had 4, so they just thought I didn't have 8 power. This is probably the best weekend deck I've played today. Probably one of the better ones overall. Because before one drops, you you get one of them on turn one 85% of the time. So we hit the 15% right here, but might not even draw a weekend, right? Did draw the weekend. Unfortunately, we can't trigger it. I mean, it's still a four seven, so I'm gonna be that unhappy. I don't know. Magic. Okay, so I need snow guard versus this guy. Still got a card to draw this way, right? I'll do this so I can search for like a legion. Could be a tribunal. It's my first saw here. A couple other decks run magic though. Whatever it is, they're trying to hide it from me. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> they don't want to show me anything. Like, so they can try and scam me eight cubes, I guess, or something. One R2, that's what I'm looking for here. Oscorp is kind of awkward, but the acid arrow is great. <laughs> oh, this board is pain. Am I sending them the acid arrow? Probably not. I just give up on the weekend, right? Hey, what are they doing? What's going on? Try to snap here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what kind of whack ass combo deck are they playing that they just have nothing for the first four turns of both games? Alright, we got Loki, so we'll get to see this time maybe. The wind right in. No. They're trying something sneaky. That's why they keep retreating early. I want to see the last location before I snap. to look at their deck next turn. I decided not to Loki so I could look for Shadow King or Shang, but if I don't get it next turn, I'm just gonna play Loki out. Their 
for Silver Surfer. Intriguing. Turn it off now. Let's get a extra card, yeah? Because their hand is full. They run Shrang. Surfer here is plus eight, sixteen. A little bit awkward of a hand here, but it's fine. I Seventeen middle. Yeah, this is fine. It's a little bit spooky. Still get there. They'd have to hit all three. Maybe two in here. So they're probably like the Odin, Sarah, magic stuff, right? Look into it again. Victory. And I have a way to turn off this. And if I don't have prior, we can play Shadow King. Yeah. I probably should snap turn one, honestly. Episode. It's pretty good for them most of the time. The peak. Makes their brood iron heart surfer absorbing man. Actually no, Abs man doesn't do anything. You get the just made my hand a lot worse. <laughs> Could be hazmat. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, I won't say it's hazmat until I see one of Luke Cage or hazmat. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Wish you doing that well. What were we playing today? No raiders? Alright, you're right. It was hazmat. <laughs> I don't know how you could infer it was hazmat without seeing a single card. That said hazmat. Yo, what's up, Rilo? Loop. Captain America. Hope your all days are going well. I mean, I'm just gonna search for better cards from them, like Luke Cage and stuff. Yeah, we got our Luke Cage. Because they run Shang in their deck, man. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. I don't want any of their cards. Hide the loot cage one more turn. Maybe it'll get me extra cube. Save loot, I think so. 
You could not get Loki Wigan today? Really? It's been working really well for me. Like, it actually feels kind of absurdly strong. I'm gonna give up over here. Space Surfer is gonna get buffed. We'll try this. I mean, this seems insane because it undoes all the peak stuff. It's working really well for your opponents. Oh no. Disaster. Yeah, we're fine, right? Dude, this cage is. Oh, look at that. Everyone's telling you Wiccan is bad. It's not bad at all. It's like a very solid card. In this deck, it's like absurd, kind of. And the other decks we tried, it was okay. Like we played Pixie Wiccan, which was like kind of jump through. Like some decks can get away with it. So I, I think Loki and like this style of deck can get away with it because it runs a lot of early game and it can still use the extra energy, but outside of this, like it's hard to see for me, like how good it is. It's weird, but I think it's worth it. So it gets me closer to Wiccan. I want to figure out what they're playing though. Bro, what is this board? <laughs> they're snapping me. I'm gonna stay because I want to see more of their deck. I do have Shadow King for Jotunheim. Actually, probably afford to do this. Looks like just a bounce deck. Probably a hood, and that's why they snapped. Okay, another Loki is nice. Change could be huge. I'll be lucky, man. All this energy, but I have no board space. It's a full tie, now we lose by one. Again. Moving the rescue, save them. It sucks. How's it going? It's not good. Didn't get a one. Eighty five percent area we missed. Get 
you though. Get double look, do you? you have a copycat? to leave it to 10 there I can go to 11 technically Should move a nocturne then? Big card. Not they have to move Nocturne left. So then, happy to catch an early stream. Not an early stream, but appreciate you catching it. Turn him out. Grab our, oh yeah, that's pretty late for me. Usually I start a couple hours earlier. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. Hello, P. This is a two seven. Uh, Shadow King uh... mm. Hoping for acid earlier there Three cost Jeffrey, plus five game pretty much. <laughs>
do this. Squirrel turn five is a crazy play. Snap that. I can't not snap someone who plays Squirrel turn 5. Come on. Obviously, they set up for Mockingbird. That's all. Classic stay and lose every lane. Victory. Oh, that's no Loki Wiccan, man. It's still in my Wiccan games. Cards so OP your opponent retreats turn one as soon as they know it's in your deck. Holy. 